Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to add position numbers to your Business Central sales documents. To demonstrate adding position numbers to your sales documents, we will make changes to the sales template from the Fornaf customizable report pack. We will use JavaScript to calculate and display the position numbers per sales line. The technique we will demonstrate today are valid for any Fornaf report in any extension. To demonstrate adding position numbers to your sales documents, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will create and calculate my variables. In step three, I will add the position number to my lines. In step four, I will rename my line caption. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding position numbers in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2021 Wave 1 release. I have installed the Fornaf customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central cloud environment. I also have the Fornaf designer installed on my PC. The Fornaf designer can be downloaded from the Fornaf website. The first thing we need to do is create our position number variables. The JavaScript engine in Fornav can hold and calculate the position variables for us. Normally, we would add the variables on the data items on pre-data item and on after get record triggers. However, we use a template and these triggers are not inherited by reports that use my templates. Therefore, we will find other places for our scripts that are, that are inherited. So let's open Business Central. And we probably need to sign in again. There we go. So from the 4NF reports list, I will open the 4NF sales template because we'll want to make the changes on the template and make sure they are inherited on all of our sales documents. The first thing I need to do is create a variable to hold my position number. And normally I would create that variable inside my line uh, on pre-data item. Uh, only the trouble is that these two triggers, the on predata item and on after get record, are great to store position numbers, but they're not inherited on uh, uh, on the reports that use this template. So that will mean that I would have to write this JavaScript on all of the reports. It's not a big deal, uh, but I prefer to make all of my changes on the template. So what I'm going to do instead is use some other JavaScript triggers. And the first one I will use is I will create a new text box and I'll place it outside of my report margins. There we go. And inside this text box, I'm going to declare a new variable. So what I will do is say var pos is zero. Normally in JavaScript, you don't need to assign a default value to a variable. Uh, only in this, time, in this case, I want to uh, automatically increment this uh, position number. Uh, and to do that, I need to assign it a, uh, a default starting value. So that's going to be zero. I'm going to make this one, uh, the text I'm going to make red. And that's just so I know it's there and I know it's uh, not something I want to display, but it is something that I need in order to calculate my position. So that's declaring the position variable. So now we can use the position variable inside the, uh, the header and the lines somewhere. The second step is to increment the position number when my line is not a comment line. And to do that, like I said, normally I would use the on after get record. This time I'm going to use the lines body show output property. And the show output property is a bit of JavaScript that gets triggered every time uh, the body uh, needs to be displayed. So it will be triggered every time uh, a data item is read from the database. And what I need to make sure of is that this body is going to be displayed. So I need to leave the true uh, as the last, uh, the last JavaScript inside this trigger. Uh, but before that, I can write whatever I want. So what I can do is I can say pause plus is. 
and then of course I want this to be conditional I want my position number to only increment when I don't have a comment line for comment lines I don't need position numbers so I'm going to write a ternary where I'm going to say line type is not line field options type blank and if my line field options the type is not blank I'm going to increment with one and if it is blank I'm going to increment with zero and that's a simple way of adding an if statement on a single line and if you would want to write this down in a complete if statement you could also of course say if so that's the uh, the equivalent in uh, in a normal if statement so i'm happy with that with that so that increments my position number with one every time my uh, a line is read from my uh, from my database let's save this So now we have the values for our position numbers. We can add a column in our lines and in our lines header and body sections. So of course I want to display my uh, my position variable, and to display the position variable, I want to display it in uh, in front of my lines. So I'm going to simply say insert a cell, and the first one uh, I'm going to need a a caption that can be translated. So I will use the line dot field captions dot line number line number is typically not used as a caption so I can uh, use the line number as a caption for my uh, for my position number let's add that there Then I'm going to need to add my position number to my uh, to my body line as well. So once again, I'm going to insert a cell, and inside that cell, as a source expression, I can simply use my JavaScript variable. So simply say pos, and these are underlined. Fornaf says it doesn't recognize them because I haven't declared these in uh, in a normal place. If I would have declared this in the on pre on pre data item. Uh, it wouldn't say there is a problem. However, uh, these JavaScript variables are global all over the Fornav report. So if I declare it in the header, I can use it in the lines, no problem. So that's the position number. Uh, let's center that as well. Uh, let's, uh, let's make these yellow so we can see what's going on and preview. I've posted a sales invoice with a number of comment lines so uh, so we can test and demonstrate so what we have right now is we have a, uh, a caption which says line number we'll change that in the in the final bit of this webinar and then we have the position numbers one uh, one still for comment lines so for on the comment line my position number is displayed but it's not incremented then we have our office supplies which is a general ledger line which is two more comments and finally a touring bicycle so what I need to do now is of course I don't want to display decimal places and I don't want to display my line number on the command lines so let's change that so to, to disable the decimal places what I can do is work with the format string and a, the, uh, a number without decimal places I can simply use the hash as the uh, format string and for the show output for my position number of course I don't want to display this uh, I only want to display this when my type is not a comment line so once again line dot type is not line dot field options dot type dot blank there we go so my position number is now only displayed uh, when I don't have when the line is not a comment line 
let's save this and preview there we go now we have our line numbers in front of in front of our lines so for the comment lines the position number is, is uh, position number is uh, hidden and for the normal lines my position number is incremented automatically so that's exactly where I want it to be. Now all we need to do is change the uh, position number. So finally we can set the header caption to pause and we will use the 4NAV language for this. And I use the 4NAV language instead of a normal uh, variable or field inside the 4NAV report because of course I want to be able to uh, 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 to change it or, and to translate it to different captions. If I were to say right here, uh, use a uh, just a plain text to write pause, then of course uh, I, that would never be translated if I wanted to print my report in a different language. So, for enough language. And in the for enough language, I'm going to switch to my objects view because I want to target my translation exactly. And I will use the English language code because we do these coffee breaks in English. This works in every language that you can imagine. And I want to change line number to pause for all of my sales lines. So I'll start with uh, sales line 37. Line number is field 4. I'll simply change that to pause. And of course, I want to do this for all of my sales documents. So I need to change this for all of my sales lines. So I will change it for my sales shipment line I'll change it for my sales invoice line and I will change it for my sales credit memo line there you go so that swaps the line number caption from line number to pause and you can of course do that for all of the other languages that you want your report to print in I'm happy with English for so far. So let's refresh my page and see if my sales template now works the way I want it to. And it does so on my sales template. Now I have my post column with my position numbers. And a big check of course is to see if all of my sales documents are now, now have my position number. So let's test my order. So on the order, I have a position number now. And on my invoice, I have a position number. And let's try the last one, a quote. There we go. On the quote, we also have the position number exactly the way we want it. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to store our position number in a JavaScript variable. We incremented it every time a line of a type other than a comment is displayed. Once we had the position number, we added a column in the line header and body sections. Finally, we used the 4NAV language module to change the line number caption to POS. So I can see we have no questions, so I will wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about 4NAV or if you want to download the 4NAV designer and converter, please visit our website. If you want to install 4NAV in Business Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about 4NAV on our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about 4NAV, please email them to support at 4NAV.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit 4NAV.com slash coffee break. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.